Numbers that are divisible by six are divisible by both two and three. So I'm going to do a little review of what it means to be divisible by two and three, and then we'll see about being divisible by six. If a number is divisible by two, it's an even number. 224, ending in a four, that's an even number. So this is divisible by two. 325 ends in an odd number. So this is not divisible by two. 548 ends in a even number. Okay, or this is an even number. So this is divisible by two. And 756 ends in six, which is an even number. This can be divided by two. Now, to be divisible by three, we have to add the digits. So one plus two plus four, this adds up to a seven. So this one is not divisible by three. Um, this one is this divisible by three. Well, I'm gonna eliminate the three and just add the two plus five, which is seven. And that number is not divisible by three. Therefore, this is not divisible by three. Here, I can add the five, oh sorry. Yeah, I can add the five and the four. And that'll be a um, nine. And eight is not divisible by three, even though the nine is. So this number is not divisible by three. And this number, 726, um, if I add the 7 and the 6, I get a 9. And it eliminates those two. And the 6 is also divisible by 3. So this is divisible by 3. Now, divisible by 6. To be divisible by 6, the number has to be both divisible by 2 and 3. Well, 224 is divisible by 2 here. But it's not divisible by 3. Therefore, this will not be divisible by 6. 325, first of all, is not divisible by 2, so it's not even a consideration. 548, that is divisible by 2. But as we see here, it's not divisible by 3, so this wouldn't work. And 726 is divisible by 2, and it is divisible by 3. So this number is divisible by 6. Okay, let's check out these last numbers. First of all, we want to find out what numbers are divisible by 2. These are even numbers, so these are all divisible by 2 except for this one. So this one is out. Okay, so since these are divisible by 2, we just need to know if they're divisible by 3. So we can get rid of the 6. And 2 and 4 both make 6. So we can eliminate that. And the one left over is not divisible by 6, so this, or oh, sorry, not divisible by 3. Uh, let's check out this. Um, the 5 and the 4, they make 9. That's divisible by 3. The 7 and the 8 together make 15. That's divisible by 3. So this is divisible by 2 and 3. So this is good. Okay, and the last one here. Um, the 7 and and the 2, that makes a 9, so that's good. The 6 is already divisible by 3, and the 4 is not, so this is not divisible by 3. Therefore, it can't be divided by 6. So this is the only number that can be divided or is divisible by 6.